Hey there, welcome to a Raspberry Pi tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. This is somewhat of an update from my very first tutorial uh, where I showed you how to set up a headless Raspberry Pi. Since then, uh, Raspberry Pi has introduced their own imager. They call it the Raspberry Pi imager. It's available for Windows, Macs, and Ubuntu, which I think might work on other Debian systems as well. And you can install Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, they've switched away from Raspbian a little while ago. Pretty easily on your Pi uh, using this imager. You can also install your own image if you have if you have it. So go ahead and download this here if you don't have it. And once you have it, you open it. I found this to be much simpler than Etcher as well because it comes preloaded with pretty much everything you'll need with the Raspberry Pi, which is it has Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit, um, it has Raspberry Pi OS Other which has the light version which I will be using because I normally don't install Raspberry Pi's with desktops unless I really need to. Um, it has Raspberry Pi OS full, uh, Libra, Ubuntu, it has RetroPi which is amazing, you don't have to go somewhere else for it. Uh, this one I haven't actually used, a thin LNX, uh, Debian based thin client. Uh, and you can also erase your Pi, uh, your SD card, and you can also use a custom image from your computer. So if you have one that you created or you got one somewhere else you want to install it, test it on your Pi, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to do a headless mode here. So I'm just going to go to Raspberry Pi OS and click on Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit, which is Debian without a desktop environment Pi that I didn't use. So I plug this in. Now I have this one. It has a, you know, it's just a generic 16 gig SD card and I'm going to write to it. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. It'll write, verify, and then we'll come back. Okay, so that took just a few minutes to do and it uh, installed Raspberry Pi OS Lite on the Pi. It says you can now remove the, remove the SD card. So we are actually going to remove it. So make sure you uh, remove it from your machine and plug it right back in. Um, once you plug it in, uh, you will see, so it should be the boot drive. So uh, I don't know why my machine, is, machine has it as just removable disk, but um, whatever. Um, there are a bunch of these files. We don't really care about any of these. We want to turn this headless mode. So there is a WPA supplicant information here. So you can copy and paste this here. I also have um, a file in my computer here that I'll just copy and paste. So I'll take this, copy, paste this here. And the contents of this looks like this. So I'm just going to edit it and put in my Wi-Fi name and my super secret password, which is super secret password. The other thing you need to do, uh, aside from the WPA supplicant file, is we want to create a file for SSH. We want to enable SSH. So you just do a text document and SSH. And we out we'll actually do it without any kind of extension. It'll ask you if you want to change this file extension. Yes. And you say, yes, I want to do that. Um, and so we have just an SSH file. So this will enable SSH so that we can connect to it remotely without needing to connect uh, a keyboard, mouse, and a, a monitor to it. Uh, and then I'll unplug it. I also have a wireless clients table open from my uh, my Linksys range extender, which I use uh, specifically for my Raspberry Pis and ES uh, ESP modules. So once I plug it in, power it on, uh, it should uh, work. So now I'll close this, I'll take the SD card out and plug it into my Pi and turn it on. And then we'll see if I can see it on my clients table here. Okay, so I refresh this and I have a new IP address 192.168.1.152. So I'm opening up PuTTY. You can do this with any SSH client. 152 port 22. Uh, and if all goes well, it'll let me connect. So here's my PuTTY window here. Uh, you know, I get the security alert for the first time. Say yes. Login is Pi. Password is Raspberry, all lowercase. I typed that incorrectly, yes I did. And there you go, uh, Raspberry Pi installed. There you go, so this is uh, using the Raspberry Pi imager to install Raspberry Pi and then a really quick tutorial on how to go headless. So I'll have this information on a new page as well. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. Uh, I do recommend going through my tutorial on how to set up a passwordless Pi. There won't be an update to this because it, this process is still the same. Uh, I do recommend after you do this to run in a sudo apt sudo apt um, update and sudo apt upgrade you know, dash y so that it updates your Pi with the latest software and then you can just do whatever you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out my Patreon and that's all I'll say for now. Have a good one.